Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Creating with the Heart, and I mentioned it at the end of one of my videos. I'm going to mention the beginning of this video, and that is I am desperately seeking new, either new people to watch on YouTube or new blogs that are dedicated to cricket and that are hopefully updated at least once or twice a week. I would love to be able to visit or to view those people. Um, I do watch um, Melody. She does YouTube videos on the cricket. And I, I visit Cards TV, obsessed with scrapbooking. Um, I don't really need to know the names of the ultra famous. I'm looking for hidden gems. So if you have a hidden gem, someone that you visit that you think is great, that does cricket and not the cameo, I would love it because there used to be tons of people who did cricket videos and tons of people who did cricket on their blogs and it seems like the number is dwindling or maybe I'm just not finding those people. So I would really love to, to visit some new people and some find some new um, hidden gems. Hidden gems. I'm talking like Cards TV or My Pink Stamper, or all these normal, regular, blah, blah, blah people. I want hidden gems. People who maybe are doing fabulous stuff and I don't know who they are. And you don't know who they are. Other people don't know who they are and we're not visiting them. And they're focusing on the cricket because I want to find people who are doing cricket stuff because that's what I have and I've invested thousands of dollars in my cricket and I am not buying anything new. My husband will divorce me if I buy something else. So I'm doing the cricket. So hopefully, you know, if you guys know of anybody, just put either the name of their YouTube or the name of their blog and I'll go find them and I'll definitely tell them who sent me because I really want to find some people and maybe my viewers will want to find some new people too. All right. So today's card is going to start off with a five and a half by four and a quarter card base. And the paper I'm using is Hello Summer. I wanted something sort of um, bright. The card that I'm making today is actually for um, a challenge. And the challenge is to use blue, dry embossing, and bling. And it's for um, a birthday card for someone um, in the Justice Scrappin' blog's birthday. So anyway, I'm doing kind of a very bright card. So this is a pretty orange. It's five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I have this uh, five and a half, I'm sorry, five and a quarter by four designer paper cut from Echo Park. And I just think it's bright and happy. I did a little bit of doodling. I'm sorry, I'm struggling today. Um, doodling around the paper just to give it a little anchoring because it's, it's so busy. And I love this other side. It was hard for me to use, you know, the other side I'm using because sometimes I like to save these ones for, like, bee cards and stuff. They're great for using with the bees. All right, so let's go ahead and tuck that ATG in. And there we go. All right, so I've got... This piece, which is the reverse side, and it's cut at one and a half, and then I use my scallop punch, and then I put a zillion little blings there on the bottom to kind of meet the bling requirement. So I'm going to place this down, and I'm going to be wrapping some ribbon around it so I didn't, you know, put my card base down on my on my card. So I'm going to put this down like so and then I've got this orange satin ribbon which I think is very pretty I've been watching videos on how to make your own flowers so I'm, I'm gonna try it out I don't know if any of you guys have tried to make your own flowers I'd love to hear how successful you've been because you know flowers are really expensive and so and plus I thought it'd be kind of fun to make my own flowers Lots of YouTube videos on, on that. Either paper flowers, those are easy, you can cut those with your Cricut, or ones using uh, ribbon, or I've seen them with um, trim, like ruffle trim and stuff. So, and no glue. I mean, no sewing. So no sewing is my uh, right up my alley. I am not a sewer. So here we go. Mainly because I'm not allowed to take up another craft, according to my husband. This is it. This is no more. 
I showed you my room now, right now. You guys would die. It's just full of stuff. I'm like a hoarder. So let me go ahead and place this down now. Okay, so there we go. And I'm going to tie off just a quick um, knot here. La, la, la. There we go. And I've got... So it's nice to have scissors that are just dedicated to ribbon, and I keep buying scissors and saying, these are for ribbon. And then I use them on paper, and then they don't cut ribbon anymore. So this time, I got scissors that look nothing like my other scissors. So hopefully, I will keep these for just ribbon. Otherwise, they don't cut very nicely. Okay, so here we go. Ta-da! And this is from Create a Critter, and it's a little blue bunny that's embossed, and I did a little bit of doodling around um, little his little pieces there, and on some foam tape. This is foam tape from Big Lots, super sticky. So if you decide that you want to go cheap and not use 3M, and you want to buy some foam tape and you buy this stuff, be aware that it's super crazy sticky. Like if I didn't have gel nails right now, it probably would stick to my nails and pull the nail polish off. That's how sticky it is. But I have I have gel nail polish on and that stuff is like industrial. I love it by the way. So okay, so I'm going to put this down right here and I don't know what happened to my um wow I don't know what I'm doing with myself over here okay so I have got this stamp set right here and so I'm gonna have to do a sentiment with you because I don't know what happened to my sentiment I thought I had it here I usually try to make sure I have all my all my pieces and like I said I'm a mess today okay so I have this my creative time I think I'm going to use um, there's no color me happy or hmm let me see. I think I will use Happy Spring. I'm going to use So Hard. I'm going to use Somebody Special. I'm going to do a pop out and use a super easy one. So what you have to do sometimes is improvise when things don't um, work out and that happens to me all the time at work so you just kind of have to adapt so I'm gonna do this on um, white some bunny special and I have a couple of different um, punches that I really like to use and I'm not finding the one that I really, 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 really want to use. don't know where it is, and so that is upsetting to me, but that's okay. Oh, here it is. No, that one's too big. All right, I guess I'm with my regular Modern Label Punch from Stampin' Up. It's my absolute favoriteest punch ever because it makes everything look awesome. And as you can see, it's quick and easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some foamy dots if and when I can find them. I can just find these squares. So I'm going to use these 3D squares because they're handy. And I normally make my, you know, a lot of times I'll make my videos a week or so after I actually make the card. So sometimes I forget, or sometimes the pieces get moved. It's not ideal, but my husband makes fun of me when I make videos, so I gotta do it when he's on a round. So I gotta plan, and that's not always easy because my husband already feels ignored because I'm so busy um, crafting all the time, and. 
So he's kind of a scrapbooking widower. You guys all probably know what I mean. Having maybe the same problem as me. Okay, so let's put a couple of little dots. And I'm sorry, I usually like make, make my videos not super long, but today I don't know what happened to my pieces of my card. Oh well, I'm not going to stress about it. Okay, so then I've added a couple of buttons there, and I think I'm set. So, quick, easy card. Thank you for watching. This is Cindy with Creating with the Heart.